Right guys, welcome to another video. Something a little bit different this time that we uh, normally show you. In this lovely Mark II Focus RS we've got in for sale for a customer. I'll start with under the bonnet only simply because any of you who've had one know what a pain in the backside is to get the bonnet open with two hands, let alone with one. So I've pre-opened the bonnet. As you can see, immaculately clean. We've kept really, really well. Mileage is just over 100,000, 102,000 to be exact, but you wouldn't think so looking at the car anyway, interior under bonnet, it's all pretty clean. Got the spec car header tank, ES Autos inlet manifold, Rooks Motorsport crossover pipe with a K&N filter. It's got a decatted stainless steel exhaust as well, eye back springs. Quite a few other bits and pieces that I have listed on my website, so if you want to go and have a look, I've listed all the uh, extras on there. So we'll shut the bonnet and show you around the car. As I say, 102,000 miles, but you genuinely wouldn't think so looking at this car. Always been a fan of these cars, I've had a couple myself. I think for a, a jumping and drive car, Ford got it right with this car. Everybody was speculative over front wheel drive, but as we know with that, what at the time was a new idea of the Revo knuckle suspension, meant the car handled like a rear wheel drive car. You couldn't tell it was front wheel drive. So yeah, I love them. I think out of the box, they're a fabulous car. So this one in the blue, which looks lovely. Shame it's a bit overcast today, you don't really get the full effect of that of that, um, of that colour. Extras on the outside, we've got the 20 inch BK racing wheels with uh, new tyres. We've got the side skirt extension pieces there you can see. Mud flaps, got the front splitter extension. It's got a bigger intercooler as well you can see through there. And it's got a Nice dinky little lip extra on the rear spoiler, but a very, very impressive car. When he asked me to sell it, I thought over 100,000 miles, she's going to be a bit rough, but absolutely the opposite. As you can see, straight as a die. The only thing if you want to be super critical with the car is it's got a few stone chips on the front bumper, as you would expect for its miles. If you were really fussy, you'd maybe get that painted, but if you wanted to use it, well, leave it alone. You know, it doesn't look bad, but they are there, as you can see. A few stone chips. But the bonnet is stone chip free. So are all the wings. No corrosion anywhere. I know I've seen these suffer from corrosion on the front and rear wings where the bumpers rub through the paint and it causes them to corrode, but there's nothing on this car. Paint's lovely on it. Interior wise, again, I've seen cars with half the miles on. Not as nice. There we are, the mileage, 102,000. Got good history, but we'll get to that in a minute. I'll take that cover off so you can see the, the seat does have a little bit of not gone through, but a little bit of wear as you'd expect. But other than that, there's no bad marks, sig burns, anything like that. And we could do a professional valet and, and, and bring them up a little bit nicer, but that's me just being fussy. Back seats again, I mean, I don't think these wear bad like the old cosies and that that I'm used to messing about with too. But the interior is lovely. Show you the services street. There we have the service history book. Again, difficult with one hand, but you can see it's been well serviced. So, been well looked after, good car. Got all the handbooks, two keys, and all the logbook, previous 
MOTs, receipts, invoices, going back for quite a while. The car has just recently had a timing belt and a new water pump done by Matt Lewis Motorsport. So really the car is simply ready to go. Nice, nice car. You can see there how well, well looked after it's been. The discs have been painted black in the centre. Even the edge of the disc looked painted silver. New backing plates, calipers all painted. It's had new front and rear wheel bearings recently. Brand new brakes on the front. I've just washed the car so they look rusty, but the brand new Alcon six pots with three six five discs. Yeah, good, a good, good spec car in very, very nice condition for its mileage. So if you're looking for a nice, what I call thrash around RS, this could be for you. I think a great, great car for the money. I say any more pictures, have a look on the website or if you want anything specific, get in touch and I'll take the photographs. Thanks again for watching.